Now this right here was a new experience for me. And to be honest with you, I loved it. I loved everything about it. So the boys had taken two nice animals and on our way out of there, we passed a small house uh, that a few guys were staying in that were fencing contractors. And Hurdley said to the guys in Afrikaans or Hosa, hey, get a bucket. And essentially he was gonna give them the guts and I was like, really? What is he gonna do with the guts? And they're like, they're gonna eat them. And they're gonna eat everything. Heart, lungs, liver, intestines, everything. So as we started gutting the blessed buck, Jeffrey says to the gentleman, grab something to put it on so it doesn't go on the ground. Well, he brings back this rusty piece of metal and we slide the blessed buck guts on it. And sure enough, we started gutting the Impala he said something in Hosa again, get that clean surface or something, another piece of tin. It just becomes a crazy reality check when you see people just utilizing what they have available versus what we would never ever consider over here in the States as a suitable surface. Okay, so when I was there and we were doing all this, I thought this is kind of a cool experience, something neat to see. But now that I'm sitting at home in an air-conditioned office with just about everything I could ever wish for, I was like, holy cow, these people don't want anything. They're 100% content. They got two piles of guts laying on a hunk of tin. That's what they're gonna eat. Who am I to ever ask for anything? And it just took a couple of minutes for it to sink in and that became kind of my life lesson. I need to have this video available to play every time I'm jonesing for a new gadget or a new trinket. This will help put me in check that if I think I need it, I just look back at this film and realize I don't need anything. And if these boys are willing to live their life by running into the backyard and grabbing a piece of protein off a hunk of tin, then I've got it good. No, I've got it great. We're brothers in the outdoors, trying to utilize animals the best way we know how. Well, these guys right here have figured it out. South Africa.